Mm. The white man admitted to take I can teach all y'all something right now. Just like a white man to put limitations on a right nigga. That I'm pretty sure y'all ain't know, because I love a bitch I can learn something from. Did y'all know that pillows have expiration dates? Yes. You have to change them. How y'all doing? You have to change them and flip them and change the sheets off of them, too. Yes. yes. Do you change your pillowcase sheets? Your pillowcase. I, ha I haven't until I just learned this shit like last week. Yeah, your shit dirty as fuck. I went and bought new pillows. This shit. Not the new ones. Well, you look like a, a suede burrito. Boy, you get your bean pie head ass on. <laughs> Chill ain't nothing but a sloppy <clears throat> joe without the bun. We already had that conversation. I don't know. Yeah. No, we was talking about that earlier, though, but yeah. <laughs> that is true. It is sloppy That is true. Joe. It's hamburger helper without the noodles. It's spaghetti without the noodles. That's right. Mm -hmm. What's ravioli? A hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> A, a loose ass hot packet. A freak ass hot packet. A mini hot packet. <laughs> All over the place. This is nice. Do you see our upgraded situation? Mm hmm. You know, we brewed it from the A, so we had to bring the A back there. I, I said that at uh, Greenlit. I was like, yeah, goddamn, you know the show I got. She like, trap new. I'm like, yeah, man, brewing A, goddamn, woo woo woo. woo. Oh, yeah, my hand. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. What's for wrong sure. with your hair? I had a goddamn pap a nigga. I don't got it. I ain't do shit. Had Anyways. Pap, had to pat me one. <clears throat> Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> had to pat me one at. Are we rolling? We ready? He done healed. I'm still fucked up. Your hand do look fucked up, though. It kind of look like you be in a small class. It's all good. In school. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Were you ready? Right. Uh, anybody got some lip lube? Not lip lube. Yeah, I do. <laughs> mm hmm I did my job. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what, son? Don't worry about it. I'm going to just do it dry. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Damn, right, we go. ain't got no candles. We got to go shopping online. We need to use the code Trap News at checkout so we can get a discount because clearly we can't afford no motherfucking ambiance. What's that? The candles. Why? Oh, I'm Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we ain't got no candles? That's what I'm saying. Uh, we ain't got well, no candles. Well, you know, no new shit, man, you know. No, hey, we need a candle. Anyway. Do we still have that endorsement deal? No. I think we still. <laughs> <laughs> they taking endorsements from us. Look, cause I ain't think we're going to make it. Well, me either. Well, we back. I'm glad you came on back. Look, okay, it was season three, yeah. episode one, yes, Trial News. Sir. Welcome back to the trap. I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy Money Bag is Trap News with new episodes and new ads. God damn it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That one was clean. Yeah. Okay, since, since we starting off a brand new season, I got some new rules. Because we didn't reach our man, goals last year. All that shit, no, man. I'm I'm serious. We I wrote them down. Black businesses. That's the point. We're supposed to have freedom over here. We do, but freedom comes with responsibility. Mm, and mm. we got some response, new responsibilities right mm -hmm. here. So listen. Don't say shit about my vape now. No smoking before work. Mm -hmm. No smoking before work. I'm okay. tired of you being too high. Okay. No vaping on set. Let that be your last puff you okay. ever take. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, okay. No more being late. Whatever the call time says, we don't want to have to call you at that time. That means be here on time. I called y'all. Just to, that's responsible. Today, today. It, I know. call. Okay. Yeah. All right, we good. So, and then I got this for me, account self accountability. Oh, sure. Okay. You know. All right. I gotta stop mispronouncing these people' names. That's it. That's real hard. You know, I really it's, it's hard for me to get. And, and for production, I just feel like no more JJs. We gotta do better as a people. Wow, we clogging we our arteries. Turn into some chicken rice. Yeah, this we clucking this shit you feel me? in between takes. No, so that's what I feel like if we implement some of those. We can we can really get that Emmy that you I know, know we're capable of. You're right. And it's still a trap awards at the end of the year. We can oh win. God, we can take we can, home. It's still a possibility. Now. You know, so let's lock in. I'll be damned if we let uh, Justin Sent show win. <laughs> <laughs> Every I, he ain't never got no clothes over. I see what I'll be right there. Nigga stank. <laughs> Nigga stank a little bit. Stank a little bit. <laughs> He said, like, old grandma couch. <laughs> and you got the motherfucking... I deserve to hit my bank for that. No. <laughs> Smoke. I mean, put it down. Right. No smoking. Oh, sick. Okay, anyways. Shit. 
Let's just jump right into uh, the new stories. You know, we got a lot going on. This is a, a election year, so we have a heavy hitter with the political block. You know, Biden has officially stepped. I was gonna say resign, but he's still the president. But he stepped down. Oh, from, yeah, he laid down. From out the <laughs> le- he laid down out the election. He laid down out the the 2024 presidential race. That's good, race. man. That's good. Go and about it, Biden. He really took to um um. He actually sat down and explained what brought him to that decision. Let's take a look at the clip is speaking out about his decision to end his bid for re-election. In an interview, he said that he was concerned about being a distraction for Democrats and several lawmakers had called for him to drop out. He said he wanted his party to just focus on defeating former President Trump. The president also said that he was concerned that staying in the race would hurt Democrats' chances of winning down-ballot races. A number of my Democratic colleagues in the House and Senate thought that I was going to hurt them in the races. And I was concerned if I stayed in the race, that would be the topic. You'd be interviewing me about why did Nancy Pelosi... Get it out. Like, right. he takes so goddamn long to what talk. That's why we, at, we had to take him out the race, because we would yeah, never get man. there. Body go on, goddamn. Go on. Die. Anyway, not no. <laughs> We're not killing nobody off this season. No, I'm just saying, I'm, you know, I mean, peace. He, he, this shit too much. <laughs> this too much stress for him, bro. It's just like we don't want to lose our president while he the president and he wasn't assassinated. Like that lame hell. You did, you did die. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, you said, all right, that's some bullshit. Then what go do? get called. What would have happened if that would have happened though? Ka- Kamala would have ended up stepping up and being the president. Oh, that's how that worked. That's what the vice. President For real? Is, is you the president next to the president? See, he dropped that so that wouldn't happen. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. That's crazy. That's selfish. So no, it's not. So Kamala um, Harris has definitely stepped up to run for president. And I just want to add, you know, I know Smoke will be proud of me, but she is not the first black woman to run for president, but sure, right? actually the second black woman mm-hmm. to run for president. Hopefully, <laughs> I feel like she got a good chance of winning this time. Who was the first one? Kanye West. That's not a woman. That's not a black woman. I got like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe it's Shirley Chisholm. Oh, damn. Did I make that up? No, that's, that's right, because right, period. Yes, it was Shirley Chisholm. She won, but she did not. I mean, she ran, but she did not win. So hopefully, Kamala can change that. That that um, hit. I think with them AKAs <laughs> and them, they're they going to, they gonna, the Divine Nine, they're going to ride for her. For Kamala? Yeah. I'm scared of her for some reason. Uh, I don't know. You gotta do your research. He just don't sit right with me. Well, you know who also might be scared of her? Donald Trump. Because he actually would allegedly call Kamala a bitch. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. That's highly disrespectful. And I feel like this. Is this? No. Yes. <laughs> A white man to call a black woman a bitch. At least he didn't call her. It, 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 it just, it's oozy. At least he didn't put a nigga in front of that. <laughs> I feel like we it's, don't know what he put in front of. I, mean, I feel like that's kind of neutral. No, it's not. Bitch is not racist. We can't do that. Okay, well, um, Trump. The yeah, bitch is coming all shapes, sizes, colors, forms. But it just, uh, but you still, it still oozes racism. You don't feel something. I need like to hear how he how he used it. Okay, well, he had called her nasty on Fox on Friends and a bitch repeatedly in private, according to two people who heard the remark on different occasions. That is not, and, and I think he's, um, I don't know, I feel like he intimidated. Who? You know, Trump. We ain't got no video? No, we don't have a video, because it's all alleged and it was leaked. You know, and it didn't happen. It's hearsay. Yeah, okay. But I don't know. Anyway, speaking of which, like I said, this is real racist, racist so let's just go and send it over to Chris for a Chris three lesson. Set it off, set it off. Welcome, welcome back to your section of Christory. Lord, no, I thought I was going to be at the unemployment line. I ain't know if we was coming back or not. <laughs> but we got a lot to talk about. Apparently, y'all, we know we got a big election that's going on right now. And I had a big announcement. I got accepted to the Electoral College. Y'all can clap it up for that. Hopefully, I'll be a president one day. If you don't know what the Electoral College is, those are the people that pick the presidents. But speaking of the president, the former president, Donald Trump, has been getting a lot of press lately. And somebody compared him to Jesus. I, 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 I am not lying about this. You will see that people have compared Donald Trump to Jesus. I say, if you're going to if you gonna compare Donald Trump to Jesus, put him on the cross. Let's see if he come back in three days. But <laughs> Butler, Pennsylvania, there was a Trump assassination attempt. So... You speak things in existence, they may come. That's what happened out there. Butler, Pennsylvania, it resulted in one person's death 
Shooter name was Thomas Matthew Cooks. We got his name already. Shot and killed by the U.S. Secret Service. Ain't that something? Secret Service claim responsibility for shooting the shooter. Well, we don't know who put the shooter up there, but that's what happened. Crazy part about the Donald Trump assassination attempt. He came out on with Elon Musk last night. Did y'all see that? He was with Elon Musk talking about the assassination attempt. He was like, you know what? You know what? I got shot at, and, 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 and I, I turned my head. When I turned my head, I said, bullet. I said, bullet. People behind me, they said, bullet, bullet. We heard bullet. Oh, my God. I, and then I saw it. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, would you look at that? Do you know they compared me to Jesus? I would prefer they compare me to Yahshua. That's what they used to call him. I heard it's Yahshua in Yahweh, but I don't want to get into the Hebrew Israelite talk. I said, God damn. Trump actually knows something, but I don't know if y'all know this, but do y'all remember before Trump got elected last time before he was the president, people in the world thought that he wouldn't be president. Nobody thought that he would. They put three candidates on the ballot and they fooled all of us. Three, it was only three people that you could pick from. You could either pick Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, who else? Or these nuts. You remember that? Soon as they said these nuts, I said, it's Caitlyn Jenner. It's got to be Caitlyn Jenner. Or Michelle Obama and Barack and them trying to sneak in here or something. But it turned out to be some white folks because they controlled the election. But when Trump got elected, they asked him where he get his military knowledge from. And he said he's get his military knowledge from watching movies. They proceeded to ask him when he became president, um, what are you planning on doing on defeating ISIS? And Trump said, we're going to call Tom Cruise because we have some of the best pilots in the United States Navy. Um, I think his name is Maverick. And trust me, Goose <laughs> just died, so Maverick will be pissed. I was like, what? I had just seen Top Gun, so I wasn't tripping. But then at every Trump press conference, always some black people that don't know. We don't even know who they are. We just see them at the press conference. Like, they just got born that day. They asking Trump, how can the African-Americans help against the fight against ISIS? This one, I knew Trump lost his mind. Trump said the African-Americans are going to lead the fight against ISIS. I already told you about our illustrious pilots in the United States Navy. We also happen to have good pilots in the United States Army. They happen to be black. They're down in Tuskegee. You may know them as Red Tails. And I'll tell you one more thing. Even though some of those guys had syphilis, they were damn good pilots. I said, hold the fuck up. You telling me y'all gonna let Donald Trump mix the Tuskegee Airmen with the Tuskegee Experiment and y'all ain't gonna say nothing? Bitch, you going to jail. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Hold on, let me get ready for our next segment. This is the COVID segment. I need a mask on for this right here. <laughs> Let's get to it. They bringing COVID back. <laughs> they bringing COVID back like it's sexy. I'm watching the Olympics, and I'm watching Noah Lyle run the 100 meter, and he came in at a close first, but he won. They say he won by a tongue, but he won. The 200 meter came. Noah was talking shit like, yeah, man, I'm do this. I do this. 200 meter came. Noah came up short. He didn't win. He didn't get first place, but he won the bronze medal. He won with asthma and COVID. That is amazing. You hear me? Because I got bronchitis, but I still be fucking the hole, baby. You hear me? <laughs> and I run five miles a day. But it's almost a lesson in arrogance. You know what I mean? But looking at the Olympics, I started to see so many nations. All these nations got represented. France, Spain, uh, United States of America. And most of them had black people running. And I said, somebody got to say something about the melanin out here. You know what I mean? But shout out to everybody who won the medal. Reminds me of Jesse Owens. A long time ago. I don't know if y'all know this. In 1936, Jesse Owens won the Olympics. There was a lot more black people out there, too. But Jesse Owens won. Uh, second place came. It was another guy who was Jackie Robinson's brother. You know what I mean? I just wanted to point out that because Jesse Owens was really speaking up for black people when he got into the Olympics. They say he met Hitler. And Hitler was racist as hell, but he gave him some kind of oak tree. Jesse took the oak tree back to Cleveland and planted the oak tree in Cleveland. It's still there right now, you know? crazy part was they say Jesse didn't get invited to the White House, though. I wish he would have. But who knows? 1936, you got to imagine the climate in the United States of America. It was crazy. I think it was. Moving along to another segment, the ATL meth bus. We had a meth bus. Atlanta is breaking bad. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. I thought I was going to come here and be a rapper. I should have been a pharmaceutical engineer because they just got a one-ton meth bus. I don't even know how much one ton is, but a ton got to be thousands of, of something, right? And they, they brought it in inside a celery at the State Farmer's Market in Clayton County. Clayco, everybody know about Clayco. They shut the buses down a long time again. A long time ago, you know what I mean? They shut the buses down. Jesse Jackson tried to come down here. He said, this is genocide. Nigga can't even catch the bus to work. That's Clayton County. And here it is the whole time. They bringing the dope in and celery. Look, man, 
black people don't fuck with celery or meth. And that's for real. So why y'all got it here? Somebody, a wise man told me one day, I was looking at an Instagram meme. You know how they brought it in. They didn't bring this in in on, on the Honda, in the Honda Accord. They brought this shit in, in a, on an 18-wheeler. Well, they say 16-wheeler, but I say maybe two wheels got lost. They probably had some dope in it, too. But they brought it in in a 16-wheeler, and it was the largest meth bust ever recorded in Georgia. Man. All I can say is, bitch, you going to jail. There is no way you was not going to jail. You're talking about all this YSL. You're supposed to be watching the celery. Shit. That's what's going on out here. Set it off. Set it off. But look, my name is Chris Set It Off Jones. Um, I thank y'all for tuning in to this section of the Christery and, you know, Trap News, we out here, man. You know what I mean? Shit. We've been waiting on y'all. Thank you. Well, thank you, Chris, for that Christery lesson. Obviously, you need to be teaching this nigga something because you think that it's not racist. <laughs> but anyways. Um, nigga is racist. Not when niggas say it, though. Like, when we came in here, I was like, I miss y'all niggas. That wasn't racist. That See was. how ain't nobody respond because we identify as kings in here, queen. <laughs> ain't nobody say shit. Ain't nobody say they miss you back. <laughs> well, fuck y'all, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a lot going on in entertainment. You know, DC Young Fly is going back on tour. He's going on tour. Give it up. Yo, yo, yo. And we still in the middle of the big business tour. Yes, sir. Yes. Big business going crazy. Yes. And Speaking of big business, the mm -hmm. app is doing numbers. You know, you can catch so many new shows that are being featured on Channel 85. Yes, you know, you got English Majors, his show that's with Clay. Clay English, hell yeah, yeah. Clay English, new show, check that out. You got My Sentiments. We are, we, with Trap News, very own Justin, so check that out. And I'm on there. I got an episode we talking about what, you know, why I be smelling good. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Then we have a, another show. <laughs> it's called... Um, Run One Gaming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, tap in. Yo. No, I'm just fucking with you. Run yo. One Gaming with our very own <laughs> money bag mafia. You can catch him um, <laughs> playing games. I like it. What? Why you had to say it like that? Why you had to dump my shit down? It's playing games. I almost Donald Trump to just there. I'm gonna... <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> it's playing, you playing games with people. No, I'm not. I'm politicking with niggas. We turning, you know what I'm saying, like it is in the trap. I thought Ron meant like, Ron one, let's play a game. Yeah, but we gambling and all that. Okay. Yeah, man, it's a money move. Some this shit, shit bigger than Nino Brown. Okay. Uh, you be getting your ass whooped on it. Don't embarrass me. I'm taking a loss to be a boss. You know okay. what I'm Shit. Well, check in with those new um, shows on Channel 85. And then, of course, all over the TV, you got Carlos Miller. He's killing it with reality TV right now. You can see him on Miss Pat Settles It. <laughs> That's Miss Pat's new court show. And I believe he's a juror. A juror. Mm -hmm. Juror. I got jury duty juror coming up, too. Damn. Snitching. Who's snitching? I, I, I love that nigga on um, College Hill. I was about to say, wow. yeah. But. You can check him out on College Hill. All of, both of these are on BET Plus and on Amazon Prime. But College Hill, he went kind of crazy. I don't know if you've seen the clip. Let's. I think we got to take a clip of it. Let's take a look. You guys are in the class called Louisiana Unmasked. We are going to be talking about Mardi Gras. Anybody know what Mardi Gras stands for? I think Mardi Gras is French for show your ass and get drunk. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is a school night. We got to get up early. I see more than Santana than just partying. Y'all trying to make me a bad person. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. Right now, everybody has a failing grade. The anxiety it hit me hard. In my mind, you done dropped out. HBCUs matter. You showing up as public figures really matters. You carry this legacy with you. Unless you change, you're not going to graduate. Let's do it then. Let's do it. When I graduate, I'm wearing the thong. Mm -hmm. Man, I wear no motherfucking thong, nigga. He be having them little cheeks <clears throat> out on her, too. Huh? I said, he be having them cheeks out on her, too. That's what's up. <laughs> 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 In case y'all was wondering. But yeah, make sure y'all check those out. And also, One Music Fest, they dropped their lineup. It's going to be crazy this year. They got Cardi B, Gunna, Jill Scott. Me and her got the same birthday. What? You know, Pretty Women, Big Smiles. Um, Victoria Monet, Earth, Wind & Fire, Sexy Ooh. Red, Glorilla, Keisha Cole. You know they love Keisha Cole still to this day. Like, they be singing the hell out of love. We love Ari Lennox, too, still. We do love Ari Lennox. She at Aries. Um, Nelly. I don't know if Nelly going to make it, though, because... Nelly going to be there. Okay, he going to be there. Um... 
And so many more. T.I., Monica, the list is, like, really extensive. The Young baby. Dro, Travis Porter, Quinn and Cash. Yeah, Eastside Boys. This is going to be Club Crucial. <laughs> yeah, and Gray Street. Trap Beckham. And DJ Drama and Friends. So it's going to be lit. It's going to be here in Atlanta, October 26th and 27th at Piedmont Park. And you Method know, Man, Red Man, Drew Hill. All them. Ball Man, d Lou. Wanna boss up your life? All they got to do is give me 50. Okay. Well, oh, and then entertainment. I don't know if you know the Olympics went crazy. You want to boss up your life? All you got to do is let me suck your titty. <laughs> this, this man is ridiculous, okay? Um, but yeah, the Olympics went crazy in Paris this year. Um, nearly 40 black women won Olympic gold medals for the U.S. Period, my black, black women. Queen. Yes, sir. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead, black women. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, ahead, okay. Women. And then, um, what else they had going on? LeBron James, he won the MVP of men's basketball in the Olympics. You know, at first I was like, why was everybody like so surprised that USA won the basketball? Right. I'm like, we like, like we shit on earth. and ever, like the NBA, everything, like mm -hmm. they can't see us. Mm -hmm. But then I realized like, they said it's so easy to impress black people, but to be a black person, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me just be impressed. That's mm -hmm. the Olympics. It's a higher we level. You gotta act surprised like we didn't know yeah, we like, oh my God, I didn't know we was gonna win. <laughs> like we didn't know we were gonna run through the fucking Olympics. Right. <laughs> Like, oh, fuck. like, that's not what we do. Yeah. But anyways, um, also, there was, you know what we didn't run through and win, which I'm highly surprised. And I'm like, what the fuck? This Australian woman won big in breakdancing at the Olympics. You that bitch that would hop around like a, a worm, a loose worm? Yes, I think we got a clip. If catch y'all that She catch won? It, let's take a look. No I was finna say... They got people looking at the crowd That's, like, oh, uh, <laughs> Her name is Ray Gun, um, also known as Rachel Gun, but they, That's a her, fire ass name, too. Ray Gun? Ray Gun. That is hard. Damn. It's not like she comes through killing It just shit. don't match the moves. It don't. <laughs> name don't match the moves. And I'm trying to figure out why black people wasn't in a breakdancing competition. Black people wasn't? Like, why was Ray Gun in it? Because she's fine. You ain't seen them fucking moves? I didn't think that was fire at all. No. But they end up actually. Keep doing your thing, white queen. You know what? <laughs> we're not doing that. That should have been on the list of shit we're not doing. Keep doing shit. your thing, queen. Anyways. Um, well, she can't keep doing her thing because they actually banned breakdancing oh, from the Olympics. So it's no longer going to be in there. You know what? I feel like they should replace it with cheerleading. That wouldn't be bad. Because cheerleading is hard. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, yeah. That would be a good look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they, agree. Yeah, they should just swap that out for Chile. Yeah, that's good. I what, that. That's a good swap? Yeah, I ain't got And we that. still need to make our <clears throat> nigga Olympics. What's that? Like, I want us to still, we got to have, we need to do that before the next Olympics. Like, we need to have the blunt roller race. No. Who can roll the best blunt, the fastest? Who wants, who gives a fuck about who the best junkie? <laughs> like, no one cares. Okay, who can make the best Kool-Aid? Real quick, time. Who can clean your grandmama plate the fastest? No. A plate of grandma food? No. Who and can make? You wonder why Donald Trump? Whatever. Said I think what that'd he be said. fine. <laughs> I think that'd be Kamala, fine. Kamala, she was probably giving him ideas like that too, and he was like, "Whatever, bitch." That's ridiculous. So oh, we might as well send it over with suggesting what we got. Damn ridiculous news. Appreciate that bag and brie. On today's episode of Goddamn Dickless, we are in Atlanta, Georgia, where obviously last week it was eviction day for some businesses who didn't pay their fucking rent. Uh, two of them being uh, the beauty supply store in Clayton County and a popular lounge in Buckhead called Red Martini. Now, uh, I've been to Red Martini and them prices were higher than the saw bit, so I don't know how in the fuck they didn't have any money to pay their bills. So let's go and see what they had to say about this on Channel 2 to Karis Belger live now in Buckhead. And Karis, you spoke with people at Red Martini Lounge about what's going on there. What did you learn? Well, it was quite the scene earlier before this truck was just behind me to help clear away some of the stuff that's left over. There were crowds of people picking up everything they could get their hands on. We spoke with a security guard who was here earlier, and when I spoke with police, they said they had not made any arrests. Now, according to court document, according to court documents, um, there is 55,000 owed in back rent on this property. When earlier today we were here, people were coming and they were taking anything they could get their hands on. There were 
were furniture, there were refrigerators, and yes, even bottles of alcohol. One of the security guards who was here said that people were here early in the morning, as early as 6 a.m., to start taking away the things that they could find. He described a little bit of the scene to us earlier. If it wasn't nailed down, people were taking it, and really it was about to be a riot because it was a few people arguing about what, what was theirs and what wasn't yours. So at that point, it, it got to the point where we had to call the police because it was out of control. You got damn right. I would have been out there give me some. I'd have had a section in my fucking living room, whole booth, red. I, I'm, I'm supposing that the furniture was red. It's called a red martini. I would have damn sure had me a, a, a red booth sitting in my fucking living room. The little sparks that they put on the bottles, I'd had that shit lit to. I don't know what happened. Um, the lawyers say that people were paying me. Well, you know what? Let's just see what this is. A popular lounge in Buckhead was supposed to leave the property in December, but the Red Martini remained in business until its eviction on Wednesday. A crowd swarmed the parking lot, grabbing boxes of booze and furniture dumped outside the building on Peachtree Road. You goddamn right. I just told you I'd have done the same up fucking thing. I find it hard to believe that this was a surprise to anybody. A criminal defense attorney who has handled eviction cases in the past said this. According to court's documents, the property owners terminated the Red Martinez lease on August 4, 2023, but the business... Oh, the 24, 2000... That's a whole fucking year ago. You stayed in business. I would have threw your shit out, too. A manager court granted the landlord Ralph and Reed a possession of the property on December 19th and the lounge was supposed to leave within seven days. Now, I'm not the smartest motherfucker in the world, but I know a year is 12 months and seven days is a week. Some ain't fucking adding up. Looks like to me they deserve to get that shit thrown out on the road because on Wednesday, the Fords and County Marshal arrived with, to force the business out. Six months went by and they weren't able to do anything. Between the time that was ordered and today, they could have been removed. And they should have been prepared for that during that time. It is unclear why the lease was terminated. No, fuck it ain't. Don't pay your fucking bill and your goddamn lease gonna be terminated and they gonna throw your shit on the lawn just like they did at Red Martini. But look, that may be ridiculous, but this is what's goddamn ridiculous. Let's drive on down south to Clayton County where they threw this house store out of business. Now, I, 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 death is not funny. They say the lady who owned the house store uh, died or whatever, and that was the reason for this eviction. I'm not sure. But what's goddamn ridiculous is they threw all that good-ass hair powder, all that good pink oil moisturizer, all them just for me, and uh, uh, do-rags, uh, buy-wire hair brushes, and raid grease in the goddamn landfill instead of letting these people go out there and get it. When I first saw it, I was on 285, had it down there to get me some fucking do and some murders. But they told me they were shooting out there, bitches were, were snatching, they fighting over wigs and, and lashes and uh, uh, all sorts of bullshit, fucking it up for us, and I couldn't get there and get none. So they said they called Clayton County Police, they take the shit off, and then they, after the store was cleared, they dumped everything in a goddamn landfill. So if you want something, you gotta find whatever dump they took it to, and I, I don't know, just dig your way through it. I don't know if it's that valuable to you if you if you think nails and lashes and wigs and all of that other shit is worth you digging out there and getting whatever the fuck you can get. Digging through some fucking garbage trying to get some beauty products. Don't take my word for it. Play that clip for me, please. Tell me you were here yesterday with us when we watched it all unfold during Channel 2 Action News starting at 4. Two businesses evicted, same time, very different reasons, and what was inside was just dumped outside. This is what it looked like in the parking lot of a beauty mart in Clayton County, and now it's a different scene in Channel 2's Tasha Fernandez live in Clayton County. Thai customers believe this happened because the store owner died. And Justin, we've been working all day to find the store owner's family. We're still working to find them. In the last couple hours, I spoke to another customer who said she's known the owner, Miss Sue, for years. Now, all day, we have seen people coming up to the store here, looking in the windows, and I looked in myself. There is some things still in there, but I can tell you, last night, deputies got all of the stuff that was in the parking lot out of here. People was here with U-Hauls and uh, clothes baskets. Uh, the word got out the trash bags. Honey Clark says she was in the middle of Wednesday's chaos after this beauty mart was served an eviction notice and a lot of the store's merchandise was dumped in the parking lot. When folks who just happened to be in the shopping plaza saw this, some of them started fighting over the stuff. It was just horrific that it was so many people. It was a couple of ladies that was fighting over wigs and 
you know, fighting over the product, the eyelashes. Initially, we thought Clayton County deputies removed the products, but after we did some digging, we learned that the owner of the shopping plaza hired a company to do it. Deputies showed up when someone called 911 and said things were getting out of hand. Then they blocked off the street from the expressway. They blocked off the street from this way, and um, nobody could touch anything. Deputies ended up loading up the rest of the merchandise on trucks, and then they hauled it away. Clark said that's when she got her hands on her wig. I did get one that flew off the truck, so I got a lace front. Free ass hair products laying in the parking lot where you can just get it at your disposal. Look at this shit here. This bitch done got this ugly ass goddamn weed. You done stood out there that long and that's all you got? You get your ass off from up there. Look at that shit, boy. Yeah, I got a good cause. My fucking bathroom counter. That's why I done donated to every damn thing in there. I done had uh, shea butter, pink oil moisturizer, uh, 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 any damn thing make your hair grow. Every fucking thing. That, that soap. Uh, goat milk, so all that shit. You ain't gotta keep looking for that store on either that store on the dead or, the, uh, or running from somebody. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit that was in that goddamn house though. And they took every goddamn bit of that shit y'all saw and threw it in the fucking landfill. Look, that has been my episode of a goddamn Nicholas for today. Back at you, bag and Brie. Thank you, Justin, with that goddamn ridiculous news. I don't know, you seen all them evictions going on in the streets? That shit was crazy. It was a lot going on in these ATL streets. Speaking of a lot going on, um, multiple people were shot in Mechanicsville. Mm. That's a, if you don't know, if you outside of Atlanta, that is a, another hood. Uh huh. In a five people were actually shot, including teenagers. They were leaving a neighborhood party in Southwest Atlanta, and among the victims was a 29 year old woman who was in critical condition. Why was she partying with teenagers? I don't She's know. 29. That ain't no. That's okay. That's too old to be no. <sighs> The other victims who police say are in stable condition are a 17-year-old, a 33-year-old woman, a 16-year-old boy, and a 15-year-old boy. Maybe yeah. it was parents of chaperones. It's but it was a block party. It was probably a block party. Yeah. Police say a neighborhood party was going on at their near, it was at the park nearby, and mm. towards the end of the event, the, the shots rang out. Why do you think they got to shoot at the park like that? It's fucking Mechanicville. So, it's I about to say, let, I was about to say, you think it's because um, a nigga was trying to holler at somebody, bitch? No, twin. No? Okay, let's take a look at the clip. Asia Wilson is live at Atlanta Police Headquarters. Asia, we got some new information in overnight from police. What can you tell us about this? Five people shot. Yeah, we're, we now know that four of them were females and one male. Now, we're still working to learn their ages right now, but we do know one female was shot in the head. Now, Atlanta police say the others were shot in the leg. Now, this all happened on Richardson Street Southwest at an address we believe is called the City Views at Rosa Barnell Park Apartments. Now, it's down the street from a park where some neighbors say there was some sort of neighborhood gathering celebrating celebration uh, celebrating Mechanicsville Day. But later, some started hanging out at the apartment complex and as they were wrapping up, a woman says a car pulled up and several men hopped out and started shooting at the crowd. It was just like, there what I heard. It was gone. It was over, y'all. So I was just standing right there. I had my plate in my hand. I would eat my fish. And then I just heard, and I just in the breeway. I just dot in the breeway. I think, I think, I think, shot I heard, it was a light shot before we shoot. I had dot in the breeway before. We... <laughs> That's my wife right there, nigga. I think I used to work with her at the flame. For real? She looked familiar as fuck. She I don't know. one did shoot. Damn, what the hell? <laughs> so it, heard, brrr, it was over with. It was over with. Okay, well, um, speaking of over with, in weather news, summer's over, guys. Damn, it, it is? Technically, it's back to school time. When the pollen come around? Not right now. No, it's spring. Okay, it's, all right, We cool. passed that already. But it's definitely like bottom baby some shoes season. Okay. Yeah, you know? Okay. Send your, because you got kids, so send your baby mama a little extra money. Yeah. It's no. back to school. She got to get all them lunch boxes and all that and all them supplies mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, school mm -hmm, and drawers mm -hmm. and all that got to be new, replaced, okay. upgraded. I mean, we could, they could do the same shit we used to do. Like, we used to, re, we used to redo shit again. But you can't redo shit till like the second, third week of school. Like you gotta come new first week. Got to be fresh, brand new, all new, everything. And then book everybody bag new. Forget about everything. Pencils, yeah. yeah. And then you got, then you can start going into your old archive, mixing the old with the new. Then when you get to the fall, you can really go old because then they don't, now they don't forgot. I don't know what the parents of this shit like. This shit expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I got time for all this shit.
Well, do you shouldn't have 72 kids. It's all good. Going for 75. Okay. Well, since we out here in these ATL streets, we might as well go on over to Blake the Great. Blake the Great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to keep it going. Here we go. Thank you, money bag and Breeze. Blake the Great out here in the streets. I'm right here at Five Points at Underground, and I'm with my man. What's your name, OG? Bernard. Bernard? Bernard? Yeah, Bernard. What's my daddy name, man? All right. Where you from? Right. I'm from here. You ever talk to the lady named Margaret? I love Margaret. My name's got my name, Margaret. You know what, Margaret? Yeah. Okay, there you go, um, you guys. Trap news, we found my daddy out here. Bernard, <laughs> what's your last name, Dad? Uh, Danny Important. Danny Important Dad right now, is Wilson. Danny Important. All right, this all good, OG, man. Give us a positive yeah, message man. one time before you get up out of here. Positive message. Uh, yeah. Man, give us a positive message, man. Positive message. Uh, Squeeze your man, bro. Man, give us a positive message. Positive message. But stay proud and stay focused at all times. Keep your focus on yourself and anybody else. Yeah, see. Right, you better get on up out of here now. I love you, baby. Hold it down, baby. What doing? Hey, baby, this is Trap News. This is the number one oh, news man. network in the world. We beat out Fox 5. We beat out Channel 46, all that. What's your name, sister? Yeah. Yeah, we heard you over here singing. Do you want a record deal? Uh, is that possible? Yes, because we're giving out gifts and we're giving out contracts and record deals. Leave the gift in the bag right now until Netta seen this. I want this. both. Okay, you can get both right now. Oh, matter of fact, we're giving away a car. Whoa, I yeah, want the car. We're giving away. I can afford insurance. Okay, wait, time out, Nella. Time out. You're moving too fast. Yeah, the, backtrack a little bit. We're giving away a 2019 Honda Accord with tender windows and 4G auto tires that spin backwards like a spin wheel. Free wheel. You get it right. Fucking no. What's your favorite song? Fuck it. Sing anything. If you can sing right now, give me. 30 okay. seconds of good singing, and this car is yours, I promise to God. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me pull out the song. You better hurry, I put this on my daddy, Bernard! Oh, no, this God, on you Bernard. right here, Bernard. Oh, no, no. Goddamn, Nettle, five. Okay, hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it. Four. Okay. I believe the children are our future. Oh, see, there it goes. You're going to no, lose no. five, okay. four, three. You better I get the same. I believe sing. the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them the sins of love to make it easier. Let the children laugh. Oh, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Did I win? What you think? What y'all think? Did she win? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I won the car! Yeah, I won the car! Netta, you, you Netta, I swear to God, you just won you a brand new go. car. 2019 Honda Accord. Pull it out the bag, Drew. Whoa! Pull whoa. it out the bag. Pull it out the bag. No, a car. A car, a car? Yeah, a car, a car. What a car. Whoa, you, you, you bullshitting, right? Can you get insurance right now? Yeah, I can get insurance. I got money. I got money. Okay, we're going to need you to get full coverage full insurance on this right now. A brand new car, Channel 85. That's a <laughs> No, it's not. Never. You can drive it. Here you go right here. You better be grateful. I am grateful. At least God gave you something now. This is a, you don't like the car? Yeah. You can drive this everywhere you I want to. Nah, that ain't no real car, baby. You know what I'm saying? You really thought you were doing a real car, man. <laughs> I tell you what, Nettle. Give us a shout out. Say shout out to Trap News, and we love you. Shout out to Trap News. My first remote control car, I never had one. My brother gonna try to steal it, though. Don't give it to him. All right, now. Thank love you. you. I got me a car. At least I can look forward to it. Wait, no, take it. Take it. Appreciate it, man. Stay tuned. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Trap news, bro. Trap news, Wait, what, bro. What say? Trap news, bro. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. What's up, gangster? Y'all like? We got Will. Y'all like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this trap news, 85 South. Here we go. Breaking news, breaking news. Just in. Just in, breaking news. We got my man right here. What's your name, brother? Hey, El Duran. El we just found the guy with the first retachable dreads. Did you hear what I said? He can pull them out and stick them back in. Duran, where you from, brother? I'm from 
Little Rock. You from Little Rock, Arkansas? What you doing down here? Buying pussy? No, I'm a daughter star college at Clark uh, tomorrow. Oh man, congratulations, bro. Yeah. What's oh, you yeah. taking up? Uh, mass media. That hey, what's up, man? You was a yes. good dad, man. That's what's up. Y'all crap it up for him. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We ain't gonna antagonize you. Okay? <laughs> do you want a chance to win a gift today? What's up? A prize. You want a chance? Okay, we got a question for you. You got to answer the question truly. Gotcha. Do you prefer to smoke crack or meth? <laughs> Come on, brother. I know you don't want Give me one. If it came down, the world was about to end today, which one would you smoke? <laughs> if they say, man, listen, man, we got your daughter. She kidnapped. Which one are you going to smoke for? <laughs> now, your little girl going to see this now. Oh, we be up through car now. Neither. Hey, man. All right, bro. This all good, man. Get this brother a pack of backwoods right here, man. We're going to give you a pack of backwoods right here. You smoke weed? No, I don't just smoke weed. You don't smoke weed? This is what I smoke right here. You smoke weed, brother? This is what I smoke right here. Oh. Okay, bro. We'll just take these right here. Hold them up right there, man. Tell the world who gave you your first pack of cigarettes. First pack of cigarettes. Trap dude. Yeah. <laughs> trap noobs. Give it up for trap noobs. All right, we got you, baby. Hold it down. God bless you. What's up, baby? How you doing? No, come here, give me a hug. Uh uh, come here, breaking news. All right, now don't, don't, don't do that now. I'm telling you, hey, just in. Hold on, now what's your name? Oh, my God. Oh, all right, hey, I, I got the answer. Boy, it's hotter than a some bitch out this motherfucker. Wait, shut your egg glass up, man. Hot ass you, man. Blake the Great out here, man. You know, we at Underground, Real Atlanta. Hey, Tom, Blake the Great, baby. You know what I'm saying? My name is Blake the Great. You, know, you got to tell us your name. It's Glenda. Glenda? Yeah. Oh, I love a Glenda now. I love a Glenda. You hold it down. Now, you married? Okay. Yes. You is? Yeah. All right. Tell your husband now. We're about, about 10 years younger now. You would have got snatched up right there, motherfucker. Come on, baby. What's going on? Good. We just trying to make sure everything good over here, man. We reporting the news in the neighborhood. Y'all good? Okay, I ain't, gonna, I ain't trying to get locked up now. Y'all hold it down now. We love y'all now. I will get locked up for the content. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I go to jail today, man. Yes, I will. Right, sir. <laughs> Buddy, how you doing, buddy? Trap News. We coming to report a story. We got an important story that we need to report to you. You hear guests? Tell the owner. They said the stay buddy you got in here is calling erectile dysfunction, man. Y'all need to stop selling that, man. God. Look who the chicken then cracked out the egg. <laughs> New oh. face. <laughs> what you doing around my nigga the world? Come man. on, man. You know, trap news. We out here reporting the news, trap. man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you Just, really in the trap. Yeah, man. I'm really in the trap. Oh, we got a shit going on out here. We had to come get our perspective on it. Is this taping, man? I don't know. like the people what I do on the side, though, man. Yeah, man. You know. Oh, so what you doing down here, Lucas? Um, yeah, for the kids, I got the football challenge and okay. everything. And my daughter got a chili to cancel. We're raising funds for her, you know, so that's what we're doing. Lucas, you like you lying, man. This man here's lying. Hey, new faces down, new faces everywhere. What's going on down here? Uh, 
I'm telling you, it always goes down, man. We, <laughs> undisclosed location. It go down at the underground, man. <laughs> we ain't gonna hold you too long, though, New Face, man. We are gonna check out, man. It's good to see you, New Face. You know what I'm saying, though, man. Got that hold you, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Me too. I'm out of here. I'm gonna told send you. this shit back to the studio. Yeah. Matter of fact, you sitting back to the studio for it, man. Money bag and bridge. Hey, money bag. Yo, we locked in. Yo, Bree, we locked in. It's official. Now, new face was there. I need to come on, on set, man. I need to pull up to the trap where y'all be at next. You see Blake outside. He's sweating. I think they be in that air condition, right? They might be in that air. Look, he getting love on the street, man. Y'all gotta come outside. Look at this. He about to put this live on there. Watch what you do. Watch this. Watch this. Give me a hug. You better not run. You better not run. How you doing? What's your name? I'm Blake. Nice to meet you. This is Trap News right here, Channel 85. Nice April, it's nice to meet you. We were just signing out, but for you, we're going to sign right back in. Where y'all headed to? Um, get some milk. Oh, you got a microphone on you. What you do? I sing. You sing? Map. Hey, oh. Okay, well, guess what? We got a prize that you can win today, right now. Sing something for it, later. Of Rap. Man, you, man you, you ain't a real artist, man. Go on about your yes, business, man. Is. Hey, you have a good day. You out here capping April. We love you, though. Tell these folks your social media. My social media is Lady A1, the Lady A1 show. The Lady A1. Never should have kissed you. I'm trying the best I can, I'm hoarse. Never made it back home. I'm, I'm trying. My voice is hoarse. Girl, you sound good. Yeah. All right, have a good one, all right? Thank you. All right, back Where to my the prize studio. at? Money bag and breathe, man. Y'all have a good one. Well, thank you, Blake the Great, out there in those streets. Um, there was a, you know who is going to get their ass whooped? There's this Florida woman. She went live after breaking into Floyd Mayweather's home. She actually posted videos of her breaking into his home in Miami and sitting in his car and going through his stuff. It's like, damn, are you on drugs? Like, what make you, you already doing some illegal shit. You going to record it and brag about it? This, this we got a video for that? Yeah, we do. Let's take a look. Goodness. Oh, it's a stud. Oh, damn. Sitting all in your shit, nigga. Bit me, nigga. This is my shit, nigga. I'm gonna take your shit, nigga. Feel me? Yeah. I really would. I could really take your shit right now. I'm in inside your shit, bro. Yeah. For real. Like, no plan, bitch. I'm at your front door, nigga. No plan, bitch. Leave your doors open, nigga. So you know I can, nigga. Leave this shit open, nigga. I'm going to Maybach. Open this shit up, too. Yeah. Get one of these CMT rugs. I might need it. I can make the nigga come. Need these, um, bitch, yo, nigga. So you know I can. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't be antagonizing somebody who would people ask for a living. Like, you tripping. That might, be Floyd, like you... that might be Floyd's daughter. He done forgot about a son, whatever we calling it. Mm, <laughs> a shim. Yeah. That might be Floyd's he bitch. That he... <laughs> don't say that. She bitch. That You're going to he... get us fucking canceled, bruh. My bad. Take this shit serious. All right. Okay. Anyway. He bitch that he's looking. <laughs> Turn it back on. Take care of your kids. Okay. Well, speaking of taking shit seriously, Southwest is trying to step up their game as they issue vouchers for holiday delays back in 2022. Damn. They later than season two episodes. Oh, God. Right. Oh, God. you in that cook that <laughs> God damn. God <laughs> damn. Shit. <laughs> Where are they now? They need to do an unsung about trap news. Where they now? Blake still unhoused. Ah. <laughs> 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 We're trying to trap through the vending machine. You feel me? God damn, we are struggling. We're okay. Struggling, y'all. We need y'all. Don't forget about us. Don't forget to tip the bartender. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but you probably made me cry. Yeah. Okay. No, seriously, Southwest, um, the U.S. Department of Transportation announced Tuesday that Southwest Airlines is required to provide compensation as a part of a deal that they reached after its 2022 holiday meltdown that stranded millions of passengers across the country. So um, flyers can receive a Southwest LUV voucher, I guess a love voucher, if their flight is canceled or delayed within seven days of departure or they arrive 
three or more hours later than planned. Oh, they about to be paid. Uh, it's Southwest always delayed. So it's always some shit. And then the delay or cancellation was caused by Southwest or something Southwest could have controlled, such as maintenance or staffing. See, y'all need to be flying Delta because Delta would never. Delta would never Delta do that. Delta be bullshitting too. No, Delta would, 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 first of all, they don't be canceling. And you don't be delayed like that. You might be delayed 30, 40 minutes, but not no four hours. They need to come out with a new soul plane some kind of way, like something like that of that nature with it, entertainment in it. For sure. It. You know what I mean? They yeah. really could make it by Southwest. Southwest so goddamn lazy. They'll drop you off at their grandma house. Damn. <laughs> they, They'll take the streetway all the way where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> no flying. That bitch is on the ground the whole time. <laughs> Knock it over shit. <laughs> ah, you driving through the hood. <laughs> It's like, goddamn, I just see Southwest in Southwest Atlanta. See Southwest on Southwest. Oh, oh okay, I'm on the road. Well, that's what we're going to be at if we don't get our shit together, okay? okay. I, I, I didn't smoke the vape one time, so I about I You did hit weed. it one time, but I'm going to let you <sighs> baby steps. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for that, y'all. That's been the end of this episode of Trap News. I'm Brie Renee, straight from the A. And it's your boy Moneybag. This Trap News with new episodes and new ads. 